Hi everybody. Do you like the violin music? Sad violin. Is it a bit loud? Um, last night there was a stream from Chantal and from Nada simultaneously. Um, they seem to do that, don't they? they? Both go live at the same time. Maybe it's a popularity contest, I don't know. So there's a couple of things I wanted to mention without necessarily showing the videos because the reaction channels will do that. Um, she got me really angry uh, towards the end of the, the live stream, I think it was, where she said, um, uh, what was it now, about losing somebody you're really close to. Um, and I feel like saying, you know, stop talking about losing somebody you were really close to. You haven't. I have. I have, Chantal, a husband of 55 years, 18 months ago. How dare you effing even compare what you're going through with that prick? To what I'm going through. How dare you? Who the hell do you think you are? You've staggered from one relationship to another. You are aggressively sentimental, aggressively clinging. That's what men don't want, I would imagine. As a woman, I wouldn't want it. But how dare you compare yourself to somebody like me who's lost a husband, a loving husband, one who didn't raise his hand to me, not once. Not once. And I've written what you wrote, what you said here. You said, in a sort of soulful, woe is me voice, when you lose someone you're really close to, the sadness in your heart never dissipates. It, it remains in your heart forever. What a load of crap. When you're talking you and him. An absolute load of hogwash. You've known that man for less than a year. He's used and abused you right the way through and you've allowed it. You've allowed it and you thought, bringing in drama, bringing in views, we can do this, we can do that, we can plan this. Maybe you're still planning, I don't know, but he still doesn't want you. He wants what you can bring to him, what you can give him. You know, like recently, a new iPad worth $2,000. He accepted that of you, even after he said it, it's all over. If it's all over, why did he take that from you? And more importantly, why did you give it to him? You know, are you a pair of stooks that you, you don't understand anything? He's saying the relationship's over, but oh no, I'm not going to turn down a $2,000 iPad. How much was his smartphone? You went in there the other day, you cooked Chantal, you went in there the other day, you bought $200 worth of groceries for him. For him. And... Um, and no doubt his lady friend who will be entertaining. And you cooked a soup for him because he was sick. Do you know what happened to that soup? It went down the drain. He said nobody tasted it. Not I didn't taste it. Nobody tasted it. Insinuating that there's somebody else there anyway. Or was. You talk about having goals, Chantel. Now, having goals and trying to achieve them, I would suggest to you, strongly suggest to you, that your first goal should be making amends with your family, making it up with your family, realising that your family should come first, not your YouTube channel, not your visas, not your views. You allow yourself to be this train wreck. You are 
um, a train wreck that's very. It's organised by you to be. It's it, it's organised by you that you'll be a train wreck. Somebody asked you on your channel, "Why don't you eat with your mouth closed?" And your answer was, "I don't know." I know. I can tell you why you don't. Because it's gross, and grossness sells. Somebody else asked you how to make a successful YouTube channel. Well, if she's talking about your YouTube channel, you've made the old, um, at the onset. I remember when you had 1,000 subscribers. I wasn't making videos then, but I remember you. And um, you were doing makeups and you makeup videos, and you were much more pleasant quieter and but that didn't bring you in the views and viewers fast enough did it so you started doing um mukbangs mukbangs however you pronounce it and that started getting the views then and bb I would imagine that you should thank him as well for a lot of views that were brought in because he was a likeable man and it was interesting to see the dynamic between you because it was almost as if he'd given up, you know, help, get me out of this, help. But he wasn't aggressive like Nada, he wasn't a user like Nada, he worked for a living, he was a decent man, he's a decent man. So, you had a binge delivery from McDonald's. My God, how much food did you put away? You had started with ice cream. Then it was a big, massive burger in a bun. Then it was, what is it, poutine or something? Poutine is an Irish alcoholic drink. It's spelt differently what you had, but you ate all that. And um, but what else did you have with it? Can't remember. But you had all of it, and then you had two big donuts. The donuts themselves, what would they be? About 600 calories for the two. So I would imagine last night you probably put away about two and a half thousand calories in all. And you wonder why you don't lose weight. But you don't want to lose weight, do you? Because losing weight will lose your views, will lose your monies, money. Being well mannered will lose your view, views and lose your money. So what's the next big thing after Nada? What have we got planned, Chantal? What have you got planned? Let me see what I've written down here. Oh, I wrote something about Nada. Throwing your soup down the drain. And he did. Somebody told you that and you didn't believe them. Nothing I've not said. You've just made a career out of being abnormal. You were talking about normal on your channel. You've made a career out of being abnormal. You've become, been, been doing it for so long now that it's normal to you. The abnormal is normalised. Your grossness is normalised. And you laugh about it. Think how it affects your mother and how it affects your family. Have some thought for them. I wrote something down about Nada somewhere and I can't find where it is. Never mind. It wasn't any anything interesting. I flicked over to Nada's chat. I made a couple of comments. Um, leave Chantal alone and um, good luck because he's going to Montreal. Right? He says he's got two job interviews lined up in Montreal, but his live stream was just a load of women 
I said, I didn't notice any men, I don't know. A loads of women and mostly, um, what's her name? Uh, the gypsy woman, Chilean gypsy, she was there. And um, Dee Dee was there. Dee Dee was there pulling the chap together, Renata. Dee Dee was there making the chap go, you know, speaking to everybody politely. Dee Dee was the hostess on that live, believe you me. She was the hostess and she was very well, well mannered, you know, as far as I'm concerned, she couldn't fault her um, with the way she was with people. Um, Nada himself, he was the usual, saying hello to everybody, um, I love you guys, uh, he's had his hair cut in anticipation of his interviews, I suppose. Um, the only thing of interest he said was about your soup, Chantal, that he threw it away and nobody tried it, nobody. So make of that what you will. I think if he's moving to Montreal, there's a good chance, a fat, ch a fat chance of him um, moving in with one of his friends whilst he's there until he gets on his feet. And I wonder which friend that will be. Could it be Dee Dee? Because she's known him for 10 years. She came up to see him, spent Christmas with him. When you couldn't, you were at home. Crying into your McDonald's meal or whatever it was. I'm sorry that you were used if that's what, what's happened, truthfully. And I'm sorry that you spent so much money on an ass. But don't you ever compare your fucking loss to mine. How dare you? How dare you? Be back later, everybody. I'm sorry I'm sitting on my bed because I fell this morning. I fell in the shower and I've rocked to my back. So... Here I am, plumped up on my cushions. I'll speak to you later. Bye-bye.